Back here for another segment of Coaches Club. Join my coach Rig of the men's volleyball team. How are you doing, coach? Good. Been traveling a lot this year. Was in South Carolina last week, Michigan the week before, and Pennsylvania this week. Just recap the season thus far and how it's been going. Yeah, um, the fall for us is our preseason. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we, uh, we're getting ready for our regular season. We try and do a lot of practicing during okay. our fall, and then we do a little bit of traveling. So we, uh, we started a, about a month ago with a home tournament. We've, we've traveled to uh, Virginia Tech, West Virginia, we, uh, two weeks ago, we were in Michigan for the Michigan State Hardwood Classic, mm -hmm. which is the largest uh, preseason ranking tournament in the country. And uh, we finished fifth out of the 60 teams there. And then uh, last week, we were in uh, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, to play North Greenville University. And that's a Division II varsity program. Uh, and we played them last week. Um, we lost that match, but we got to assess ourselves based on what, uh, how we rank against the varsity program. It was, it was a really good time. So this time of year, you're just finding yourselves in how you place for next season. That's right. But uh, just talk about this upcoming weekend, the last term of the, of the season, of the yep. preseason yeah. in Pennsylvania. Just, so just talk about that. Give us uh, expectations for you know this week. Yep, we'll be at Lancaster Bible College this weekend. Okay. It's a tournament. There's going to be 10 teams there. It'll be some Division Three NAIA teams. There's going to be some Division Two NCAA teams. There'll be one other club there, a really good club at a Messiah College. And uh, our expectation is really, if we, as, as we have assessed our team and we've looked at how we compare against other clubs and, and even other varsity programs, we, we expect that we should win this tournament this weekend at Lancaster Bible. The, tour, the uh, competition should be easier than it was in Michigan, uh, easier than we saw at North Greenville. And... Um, it's a tournament we played second at last year, where we should fully expect to be first this year. Get off subject here. How did you get to LU being a men's volleyball coach? Yeah, I came to LU as a student uh, in the early 2000s. When I got here, I wanted to play volleyball, and there was no volleyball team. So um, I started the, the club program. It had been on about a 10-year hiatus, and I, I started that back up. I, I did that with the work of uh, one of the other assistant women's coaches at the time. So I played volleyball here the three years I was at Liberty. I, I left then, uh, got married, and I left and went to Pennsylvania for seminary. Okay. While I was in Pennsylvania, I coached a, a boys' volleyball team. I coached a junior Olympic volleyball team as well. And, um, and then uh, when uh, I graduated seminary, I took a position at a church here in Lynchburg. And when I came back down, I said, man, i got to get back involved with the, the men's club team again. And so in 2009, when I returned, I became the uh, assistant uh, coach with Coach Willis, who was, okay. who was the head coach then, and he's now with the, the women's volleyball team. And, and, uh, and then he, he was there for only a year and then, and then left uh, to take a women's coaching job, and I became the head coach. So that's how I got back. Nice. Well, last question, Coach. Everybody talks about the midnight game here, and I'm sure that's huge. But just give us your expectations for that game. Last year you played Rutgers, which yeah. had a huge turnout. So just what are you expecting this year as far as, like, just fans and performance? Yes. Yeah. yeah, last year we, we, we did. We played against Rutgers. We had a great turnout. We had about 3,500, 3,800 fans here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it was a great game. Rutgers was the East Coast champion the year before. Wow. It, it made sense for us to play them. This year we'll be playing Virginia Tech, who um, Rutgers is probably top 15 in the country team. Uh, Virginia Tech was ranked number one last year in the country. They're just a few spots ahead of us. And so in this state. is, yeah, yeah, in-state <laughs> in state rival, yeah. exactly. It's going to be a great competition. Not only two of the best teams in the East Coast, two of the best teams in the country playing, mm. uh, but making an in-state rival, we're going to get some Virginia Tech fans here. We're going to have some... Wow. Liberty fans who just don't like Virginia Tech. And uh, so we're, we're, our goal is to have 5,000 um, uh, people in attendance at that game. And I think not only will the, um, the competition bring people, but also the, the club sports staff has done a great job of uh, marketing that game again this year with promotional videos and posters and getting the word out on campus. And, and I fully expect we'll have uh, more teams, than, uh, sorry, more fans than last year. Okay. And I, uh, I'm looking forward to the game. It's going to be a great game. Well, we'll, be, we'll be cheering you on from Lynchburg this weekend in Pennsylvania. Yep. For Coach Brig, I'm Gabe Henderson for the Liberty Plains Sports Network signing off.